Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday once again. This week flew by. It was a wild one for sure. And school starts next week for us. So I am very happy this Friday. All right, let's see if you guys can find me. Let's see if I can find me, make sure I'm in the right place. I'm really excited about today's projects. Um, this is one of my favorite kinds of stamp sets. Um, Joyful Life. It's in our new 2021 holiday catalog. Um, it's my favorite kind because it's cute, number one. It's cutesy. I like cutesy images. Um, two, it's black line. So I can color. There's no like weird shading or it's not already filled in. I can get my Stampin' Blends in color. And then it's fall. So fall themed really. Um, and fall is my favorite season. So I'm very excited about this. I love it. Um, I've got three projects today and then I've got a bonus one on Monday. So you guys will have to make sure to uh, stop back on Monday to check out that one. It is a, I'll give you a sneak peek at the end. It's a, a card that moves. And I actually, <laughs> those of you who are paying close attention will notice that the, that I, it was in my sneak peek. I was going to do it during Facebook Live, but I switched it at the last minute to do a different 3D project. So the sneak peeks I gave you, one of them was actually wrong. But don't worry, I don't think I don't think you'll mind. All right, good. It looks like you guys are finding me. Hello, hello, hello. Good. I'm glad you guys are here. Happy Friday. Hope you've had a great week. I've got to push this drawer in. Sorry if it shakes the table. Um, before I flip, I want to show you. I got lots of fun things in the mail this last week. I got some beautiful cards. I'm going to show you, and I got two goodie boxes. You guys are spoiling me. You really are, and I love it. <laughs> It's very, it's very fun to, to get surprises in the mail. Um, this card is from Kathy, and it features the Sand and Sea bundle, but it uses those new diorama dies that we have that I love that. Doesn't that look like the beach and like the sand and the water? I just love it. So Kathy, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. Those diorama dies, I think, are a sleeper. They um, are pretty cool. Um, this one's really pretty from Carol. Uses the... Oh, what's it called season seasonal basket or something Isn't that cute and when I look at the stamp set I always think it's got to be like Christmassy or fall but she did spring colors and it's absolutely beautiful and look at those pieces in the back that looks like designer series paper that she stamped on and embossed I never think to do that it's very clever I always think paper is paper the designer series paper is as is <laughs> you know but you can stamp on it you can emboss it you can do all kinds of things to it so thank you, beautiful. And then this one um, is the peach, uh, what's it called? Sweet as, a pe sweet as a peach, peachy, I can't. You know, once I do a class with it, I like can't remember anything. I can't, I can't remember the name. Anyway, the peaches, you guys know. And this is from Donna. And I love, I love a card with a diagonal. I, I have to stop myself. I want to do a diagonal card every week. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's a diagonal card, I love it. So it's very pretty and, um, if you guys will, well, no, you can't see it because I hit it. Next month's, um, all-star tutorial bundle is going to feature the peach sweet. So be on the lookout for that. You're going to have a bunch more ideas for using the sweet, uh, the peach sweet. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you, Donna. And then Ashley sent me a box of just treasures. Okay. She's so funny. She wrote me this really long note. She sent me one of these cards. Remember that kit that we had um, with these cards? I loved it. Um, she sent me a really long note. She just said she started picking up fun things that she found that reminded her of me. And I mean, it's like, it's like I went shopping for myself. Look, a little cork, um, like a wallet. So cute. And then of course, the cactus lip balm, uh, cactus pens, and then look at this. A little tiny buffalo check pill case. Ashley, you're very smart. I love all of it. Thank you. It was so fun to open. It, it was a surprise. You know, not very often do you get surprises in the mail. You know, not not very often. And usually for my birthday, I, you know, my husband's like, what do you want me to order you? <laughs> so there's very rarely do I get surprises. Um, okay, I have one more. And look at it. Look at the box. I must have told you guys that I like Buffalo Chuck. Have I told you all that before? <laughs> Just a little bit. This was so cute. This is from one of my downline. And she, I, I won't read you the message in the card, but it's so sweet. Um, Nina, this is beautiful. And I love the pumpkin. 
Um, and you should never doubt your stamping abilities. It's beautiful. She said something funny about how the card is imperfect just like her. And I, you know what, can we all say that? Nobody's cards are perfect just like nobody is perfect. So I love it, it's so cute. And look, she even went over the top with the envelope. Isn't that cute? Um, but inside the box, which I don't, this tiny little file box, I've got to find a, a way to use it. It's so cute. I, when I opened it, look, it's orange and it's pumpkin. And it, I like, <gasps> because, it, you know, it's like fall. Like fall is right around the corner and pumpkins and all of that. So it's a cute little pumpkin. Then she made a hand sanitizer holder, which um, we are actually making one today. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um this one is wash those paws. That's so cute. Wash those paws. It's got a little dog on it. So very cute. Uh oh, this came off. Let's see. I probably messed it up. There we go. Very cute. And then, oh my gosh, Buffalo Jack. Look. So thank you, Nina. You guys are crazy. Y'all are so good. So thoughtful. You know, I, I don't think I, I'm a very thoughtful person. I, I always come up with ideas of things to do, and then I'm, I'm bad with the follow through. I'm bad with writing thank you notes. I'm bad with birthdays. I have a condolence card sitting on my desk for like two weeks. I'm just bad with the follow through. But you guys are good. You're really good. I need to learn from you. So thank you all of you who sent me the surprises. Very sweet. Um, did I miss something? Let's see. <laughs> uh, the, oh, stop. You got, uh, yeah, I haven't said a word about Buffalo Check. I know, not a word, right? Okay, so today's um, Joyful Life, we'll get to that in a minute. Let me run through some things. It is celebration um, through the end of September. That means with every $50 you order online, you get something free from here. Um, the other part of celebration is that when you buy the starter kit, you get a free bundle. Here's my little graphic. Uh, the starter kit is $99 um, with free shipping. You can get anything you want up to $125 then you pick an additional bundle from this list right here all right um, if you want to know what that entails the starter kit um, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says join um, it'll tell you 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 are a demonstrator when you buy a starter kit and then you get a discount um, so after you get that amazing kit you then get 20% off everything for at least the next, really, it's usually a quarter, which is three months, but it starts the next quarter, um, which is October. So you really would have till the end of December to meet your minimum, which is very easy to do. Um, there's also information on, in the back of the celebration catalog. Um, you get to be part of my team. My team gets all my PDFs for free. They get discounted class kits. We do training. We had a big online training last weekend. Um, and then you also just get to be a demonstrator and be your own customer. Um, you get early access to the catalog. So when that, what's next, the spring catalog? Oh, I can't even think that far. But when the spring catalog comes out, you get to have early access to it, which I think is probably my favorite perk of being a demonstrator because I can't stand not knowing what's coming. And if somebody else has seen something and I don't get to see it, oh, it drives me crazy. Anyhow, if you want more information about the starter kit, um, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Uh, you can click that join tab at the top of my blog. I've typed it all out. Um, and then at the bottom of that blog post is a link to the page where you buy the starter kit. So. Even if you're just curious, I will actually put the link here when I'm done. So you can go directly over there. Even if you're just curious and you want to read, um, let me know. Um, somebody asked me a great question the other day that I hadn't um, ever, I don't think I ever had had this question. If you don't meet your minimums, do you then owe stamping up some, you know, like do you have to pay them the difference? No, absolutely not. I know that's everybody's first question. Um, about the minimums uh, and if you don't meet your minimums you just then become a customer again I always joke and say they don't come repossess your cut and emboss machine <laughs> you know like like you didn't make your car payments no um, you can be a demonstrator for as long as you want um, if you decide it's not for you and you don't use it you don't order then you just drop back to being a customer 
Um, so so it, it's very, it's actually very low pressure. It's actually really laid back and fun. Um, it's like, it's like a club. <laughs> It really is like a club. Um, but again, I'd be happy to answer your questions. There are no dumb questions. I, I Usually when people ask me a question about the starter kit, they'll say, I know this is probably dumb or, you know, I'm sorry to bother you. Don't ever feel that way. I'm happy to answer questions. Okay, last, is this the last Facebook Friday of August? It is. No, 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 no. Next Friday is, right? <laughs> um, in August, we have, we still have, a week and a half right one yeah about a week and a half um the all-star tutorial bundle for this month is the hand penned suite which oh it's upside down here's my project this month 12 tutorials um this pdf is they all include a video tutorial in them um this is free with a 50 dollars purchase so if you um if you spend 50 dollars, you get a free celebration item from that catalog and then you also get the free pdf i sent them i send them out about once a week i try to do it on fridays sometimes it's mondays and then sometimes i miss a week but i will email it to you for free and if you think i've forgotten you um or you think it got lost please email me and i will send it to you absolutely i want you guys to get that um that is a reward that i offer everybody who shops with me um it's also available in my pdf store if you're looking for if you are looking for ideas for the hand penned suite, you can even buy the PDF. And um, all the all the tutorials are done by different demonstrators. I've just done one of the 12. Um, globally, we're spread all over the globe. So it's really cool. The measurements are in metric and imperial. Okay, I, did I see a question? No, oh, my, my comments aren't scrolling. Um, Stacy, will you be live next Friday? Thank you for leading me into the next thing I wanted to talk about, Stacey. So next week, starting on Tuesday, I'm going to have my BOGO sale. Um, buy one, get one free. I've done this online now. This will probably be maybe the fifth or sixth year. I have spent literally weeks organizing all my retired product, labeling them with the price that they were in the catalog. I have photographed every single one. I have rotated them all. <laughs> no matter how I take my picture, if I take it this way or this way, when I put it on my computer, it is always sideways. And I have to go in and rotate every single one. It drives me crazy. Anyways, I have rotated all of them. I counted, I did car, uh, retired cardstock and designer series paper yesterday. I had 93 photos. So 93 retired products. Some of them are full packs of paper. Some of them are mixed. I've got ribbon lots, I've got embellishments galore, I've got bundles, stamp and dies, stamp and punches, I've got stamp sets, I've got paper pumpkins, I've got a bunch. So next week, Tuesday through Thursday, I'm going to have a BOGO sale. It's going to be here on Facebook, there's going to be photo albums, there'll be like a stamp photo album, a bundle photo album, paper photo album, so you can go through and pick out the things you want. I'm gonna explain all this, this in detail on Monday. I'm gonna have a special Facebook Live on Monday. And then once you picked out all the retired things you want, you go over, you fill out this form, and I email you your total. And let's say it's $100. You've picked out $100 in retired product. You, it's free as long as you go over to my store and order $100 in new product. So you're gonna get $100 in new product plus two celebration items over there. And then you're gonna have all this retired product from here, from my house, that I'm gonna send you. It's all free. The only thing you have to pay for is shipping. But $100 in product um, for free. So it's buy one over here on the store, get one free. And it doesn't mean buy one stamp, get one stamp. It means dollar for dollar. So however much you pick out, that's how much you spend. Um, next week, I'm gonna have it all set up back here and I'm going to do a Facebook live Monday afternoon and I'm just going to kind of walk you through all of that BOGO stuff. Um, I'm going to show you some sneak peeks. Don't email me. I'm not going to do any holds or anything that that gets crazy. Um, I've got a lot of stuff <laughs> that I need help getting rid of. So I want to give it to you guys for to give it to you for free. Um, so I have that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Those days, I know it's hard to understand if you have never done a BOGO sale. Those days are literally from sunup to sundown. I work nonstop. 
like 14 hour days, 15 hour days, all three days, because it is a lot of work. Um, so that's why I kind of limit it to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, Friday, I'm going to say tentatively right now, Friday, we're going to have a Facebook Friday. Um, I might change my mind and extend the BOGO sale through Friday. Probably not, because last year I know by Thursday we had sold majority of, of everything. Um, I have no idea what we're going to do next week. Maybe the penguins. Um, I've got some ideas for the penguins. The problem is, is that next week I'm going to be so busy with BOGO that I'm not going to have time to do anything else. Um, so... <laughs> That's where I am. If I can get projects designed, then we'll do a Facebook Friday. If not, we won't. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try real hard. Okay? So be, be on the lookout for that. I'm going to send an email out this weekend about BOGO sale. I'm going to post on my blog sometime, probably Monday. And I am going to... Um, Sandy, if we're in your downline, how, do, how can we participate? It's exactly the same. Um, you, you would put in an order as a customer because that's the only way to get for me to see that order is if you order as a customer. I will, I will go into detail more on that um, on Monday. Um, because you're getting so much for free, you have to put in your order as a customer. Um, there'll be a host code attached to those orders as well. Okay? All right, so Monday, be looking for that. Um, I, I usually do a Tuesday morning at Facebook Live, but my cleaning lady is gonna be here. and. She cleans my office first and it takes her forever. So <laughs> I don't know what that says about my office, but um, we'll do that Facebook Live on Monday. All right? Okay, now a couple more things. Halloween class, you guys, I have not had time to finish it. I've got four projects done and I wanna add one, maybe two more. <sighs> maybe this weekend, maybe this weekend I can get it done. It's the last weekend before school starts. I don't know, my daughter, said last night at 10 o'clock, um, I need some new tennis shoes. Like, hello, why didn't you tell me that three weeks ago when we were shopping or last week or yesterday when I went to Academy? But anyways, there'll be, it'll be a busy weekend. This is coming. I promise it will, I will have it by the end of the month. Halloween treats class. Okay. Um, club create this month is the, um, nature's harvest bundle. Um, Club Create is my subscription program. It's $39 a month. You get five products and about $20 in product. Um, <laughs> Maria, it's funny you asked about the paper. You didn't rush me. I finished. The paper's ready. The ribbon is almost ready, except I made a mistake with the ribbon. Watch for my email, okay? But it's coming. Don't worry. It's coming. Just know that in my absolute craziness, I made a mistake. I'm human. And I made a mistake, but I'll tell, you, I'll tell you guys in the email, okay? Paper's going out this weekend, probably, well, probably Monday. Anyway, Club Create, $39 a month subscription. You subscribe and then you can stay. If you stay in six months, you get $25 product credit on your six month. Um, you can drop whenever you want. If you just want that one and you drop, sign up, drop, whatever, it's fine. Um, it's really fun. Those of you in Club Create, give me great feedback. I hope you enjoy it. It's a big undertaking. We have um, a ton of Club Create members now, um, which really kind of inspires me to make, try to make it better each month. Um, but there is a tab at the top of my blog for Club Create. Click on that. And um, see, I can't read comments because then I like stop exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Um, click on the tab at the top of my blog for Club Create details. Um, and if you want the harvest, why can't I remember the name? The Nature's Harvest, you got to subscribe by September 7th, okay? Now, I'm going to go back to, where was it? Marsha, Peaceful Deer. I think Peaceful Deer will be a Facebook Friday. It's beautiful, but I think it's going to be a Facebook Friday. Before the end of celebration, hopefully, so we can use that beautiful coordinating paper, okay? Okay, all right, we're almost there, we're almost there. How about prizes? Last week, um, I picked two winners from who shared the, <laughs> excuse me, from who shared my video. And we've got Michelle Holcomb and Jessica Gin Ginnenbach. Michelle, I think I might have your mailing address. I don't know. If y'all would just message me, I'll get it out to you much faster, okay? All right, thanks for sharing that video. This week, I've got Snowbody Better. I know you, most of us are roasting right now at the end of August. And we're ready for some snowmen. So I'd like to give these away next week. I will pick two people who share the video at random 
and I will give them away. Okay? All right. So now it's time for Facebook Friday. Yay. So let's see what I've got. Joyful Life this week. If you have not done um, how much the class to go will be, um, Max, do you know how much the class to go will be? Are you talking about the Halloween class? No, I don't know yet. I haven't priced that out yet, but it's coming. Um, we're doing three projects today with Joyful Life. If you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, um, there's a PDF for you under the third photo. If you guys checked, was, is it up? Is it working? <laughs> Sometimes I make a mistake again and it doesn't go up, but it should be there um, under the last photo. It's got all the measurements and the products that I'm using today, as well as those things that I just talked about, some details right there, okay? All right, now, the other thing with Facebook Friday is that if you like the projects, I will send them to you for free with a minimum $35 order. Now, to get those projects, that order has to be in at Monday at midnight, okay? Dot, it's 67 where you are, how dare you? It's like 137 here. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like. How nice. Um, if you like the projects that we're doing today, you want them for free, you can put in an order um, for a minimum $35 using the host code that you'll see when I flip the camera down. They come, they look like this. You will need the Joyful Life stamp set. You'll need inks. You'll need stamp and blends. You'll need adhesive. But everything else will be done for you. Cut, scored, punched, whatever. Um, this is what they look like when they come. I send them to you for free. Um, I usually cut them on Tuesdays, mail them on Wednesday. Uh-oh, I need to tape that up. That happened last week, didn't it? Um, if you, this, I usually cut them Tuesday morning, mail them Wednesday. But because of the BOGO sale, I'm going to try to get all of them cut Monday. Hopefully, I will be able to estimate and get them out Tuesday fingers crossed, okay? Um, but if not, be patient with me because BOGO is going to take forever. This is kind of what they look like. You get a thank you tag. I don't do any stamping. No pre-stamping. That is against policy. So don't go telling me stamping up that I'm stamping things because I'm not. <laughs> That's like the golden rule. You cannot stamp anything and send it. Everybody has to do their own stamping. <sighs> Ready? Okay, I'm going to switch you guys There we go. Lois, um, how do you share the video? So if you are on Facebook, make sure you're in the Pink Buckaroo Stampers group, um, not the Pink Buckaroo Design Business page. I know it's a little bit confusing, but I think you have to be in the group and you have to minimize the video to, and go back to like where it's in your feed and there will be a share button. They don't make it easy for us. But the good news is it looks like that glitch might be gone. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So let me get a drink and we're going to start with a card. Hold on. And I need to turn that fan down. I found a fan for the floor, which I think will keep me cool and not shake the camera. Um, but I don't like, let's see, it needs to go down just a bit over here. Let's see. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna start with a card. Now, how many of you have the stamp set already? I, somebody, somebody messaged me and said, I wasn't gonna get that stamp set. And I'm sorry, but it's very cute. How can you not wanna get this stamp set? I saw the, one of the very first cards I saw with the pig, they had made him like a Harry Potter. It was a Harry Potter card. And he had like, the red and gold striped scarf. It was so cute. If you look on Pinterest, you'll be able to find it. Um, but this is what we're going to do. Look at this background right here. I'm going to show you how I did that, which is really the fun part, I think. Okay, we're going to start with that background. We're going to use a die called Beautiful Leaves. Let me make some room here. And we're going to use Cinnamon Cider Cardstock. And now I'm making a mess. And it's only the first project. We're going to use the Beautiful Leaves dies and the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set. And we're going to cut that out. And we are going to get the right ink pad. We're going to add some texture to it, okay? Let me bring over my cut and emboss machine. First thing we're going to do is cut out this giant leaf. 
Cinnamon cider is my favorite brown right now. I really like it. Now we're not gonna use the whole thing, so don't worry too much about it, you know, if you don't get the whole thing. This is a half sheet of cinnamon cider cardstock and it almost doesn't fit. I think it just barely fits, but we're gonna cut some of it off, so don't worry. Now this, this die is really intricate. It's got a lot of cutting space here. And so you wanna run it through a couple of times and then I like to turn it over. You can always tell if it's cut through. If it hasn't, it'll be kind of, well, you'll be able to tell. You'll be able to tell it kind of had, didn't go all the way through. Um, another trick you can do sometimes, I know my old Big Shot is real loose and it doesn't cut very well. If you flip it like this and cut it upside down, for some reason that, that is more pressure on it and it'll cut it. Um, better if you're having trouble. But if you have a cut in a boss machine, those are really good. And I haven't had any trouble with mine cutting through these. All right, so I've got my dye brush here for this. This kind of helps you get it out of the dye. And then you can run it through, get all those little doodads out of there for the most part. We've always got some Klingons. You can also take your die and put it on here and just get them all get them all out this is the die brush attached to the take your pick tool it's one of the you know like additions you can add to your take your take your pick tool all right now we're going to need some grid paper which is right here buried let's get a clean sheet i don't want you guys to have to look at an ugly old sheet well there, I have to go down two sheets. All right, so we've got this cinnamon cider, really beautiful leaf. And we're gonna stamp, whoops, where did that come from? We're gonna stamp this grungy image. Let me show you which one I'm using. You can use any of them. I'm using this one right here. And I'm gonna take my cinnamon cider and just stamp on these leaves. It's gonna add a lot of texture and dimension to those leaves okay you see that now I think we're done with that now we're gonna glue this onto another piece of cinnamon cider and you know I'm always I'm always pushing those adhesive sheets right adhesive sheets are so good with intricate things but this one has so many of those little doodads that come out. Once you add an adhesive sheet to the back, it makes them sticky. It totally will work. It's just gonna take longer for you to get everything peeled off. So I just decided to do a little bit of Tombow here on the back for time's sake. And you know, it'll work too. Just don't put too much so that when you lay it down, it doesn't like squish out. All right, so. Set that down, and then you want to set something heavy on it. Let's see, I'll set my ink pad like that. So we'll let that dry for a few minutes. Let's move that out. And while we're waiting, we will color our little pig. And I'm using Very Vanilla, which I started with white, but I just thought with this, these colors, vanilla was just a little bit of a better choice. So I'm gonna stamp him with Memento on very vanilla and then I've got my stamp and blends and I will tell you this is the color scheme I came up with for this week before I started I googled fall color schemes or no fall grass that's what I did because actually Monday's project was my first project and these were kind of the colors um, cinnamon cider soft suede pale papaya <laughs> I said it right um, and then old olive and we've got, um, oh, what is it? Petal pink. So isn't that pretty? Kind of like early fall. Things aren't dead yet, but just turning. So that's how I chose my colors. I like to, I like to start sometimes with a color scheme so that it helps me kind of, um, you know, keep everything looking similar. All right, so now I'm gonna just take my pale papaya 
otherwise known as peekaboo peach. <laughs> you know what? I think I found another scrap that's actual peekaboo peach. The one I showed you isn't peekaboo peach. I don't know what it is. We've gone too far. You know, I really should make like a diagram of the end colors every year, like punch out each one and keep them. I should have done that a long time ago. That way we can compare. Um, because if you find them in your scrap drawer, you're not going to know what they are. You're going to think it's something until you find something else. And then you're like, well, I don't know what color that is. All right, so I went around the outside and underneath his little coffee cup and his arms with the dark. And then I'm going to do the same thing with his face. Be careful around his glasses. His glasses go off of his body. So you don't want to color, you know, like the circle that's right here above and next to his face. You don't want to color that part of the circle pale papaya because it's not part of his face, if that makes sense. Okay, and then go with your dark. Go around anything that would be overlapping. So his nose and his glasses. And then I'm gonna do his inside of his ears. And then blend it all in with your light. I'm gonna use my dark down here on his little tiny legs. Those big glasses, he does look like Harry Potter, doesn't he? All right, now Old Olive light on his scarf. He's got his little latte, his pumpkin spice latte, I bet. Maybe a creme brulee latte. That's my husband's favorite. I don't like coffee, I've told you guys that before. So I would, if I was this guy, I would get a hot chai latte. I do like a chai latte. I discovered that by accident one time I was at Starbucks. This is when I was teaching. And I stopped on the way to school and I needed some like caffeine. So I ordered something. I don't know what I ordered. Some coffee with a lot of sugar probably. And um, I grabbed it and got in the car and left. And then I started drinking on the way. And I was like, this is not what I ordered. It's really good. <laughs> and I had taken somebody else's drink. And it was a chai. It was so good. So that's how I discovered I liked chai. Um, I colored his coffee cup just with that petal pink. I just wanted it to be a little bit lighter. Now, where are my fussy cutter, fussy cutting haters? Sandy told me today in her comment that she is too fussy to fussy cut, which I thought was hilarious. And then Donna, my new downline, she hates it. I know she hates it too. So if that's you, you don't have to fussy cut. Just punch him out in a circle. I think that would work too. But if you are willing to fussy cut, get your paper snips. Those are these right here. They're 10 bucks. Add them to your next order. I think they're actually on back order right now because they're so popular. But you can still order them. The last I checked. And go around the outside of the black line. What would you guys like to see in the next two weeks for Facebook Friday? I don't, I really don't want to start Christmas this early. Um, you know, the end of August, what do we do? The penguins, I feel like we need to do the penguins before the paper sells out. I don't know, you guys give me some suggestions. I would love to hear from you. Okay, so now we've got, you know what, this little piece that was, oh, that's okay, I've got another one. I've got a strip of very vanilla, and I'm going to, <laughs> Brenda, I have one of those, and it does not work great for me at all. It never cuts things out right. Oh, I did that in the wrong color. I don't want to do that in memento. It, it slices things up. It doesn't, it doesn't know the outside line. I have had it for few years and I get angry every time I use it. Hold on, let me get my, um, my, uh, what do we call this? Chamois. It's almost dry. I need to go get it wet again. Who was it that told me to keep a spray? I had one over here, but I don't know what happened to it. Did I take it away? A little water spray for your chamois. It was a great idea. All right, let's try this again. Early espresso to match the background of our card. All right, and I'm gonna cut these at an angle. And now we're ready to, oh no, we're not quite ready. We've gotta cut out our leaf, our leaves. 
Remember, we did this at the beginning, so I'm gonna bring the cut and emboss machine back over, and this time I'm using my new favorite set of dies called Seasonal Label Dies. They are really awesome. They've got this in several shapes. I mean, yeah, several sizes, and some are skinny and some are fat, so I love them. So just put that right there in the middle and run it through. I'm gonna go through through twice for good measure. Did I go all the way through? Since it's cutting through two layers. Let's see. And there we go, isn't that beautiful? I love it. I'm not gonna love it when I'm cutting them out for Facebook Friday make and takes next week. <laughs> That's gonna be a tricky one. But I love you guys and I'll do it for you. All right. So now, here is this paper. Have you guys seen the paper, the Blackberry Beauty paper? Um, it has Blackberry Bliss and a pink, what, I don't know, is it magenta? Here it is, look how beautiful that is. Um, but that owl is very Harry Potter too. But it has these neutral sides as well. It's got some gold in it. Um, I am using, I like this piece a lot. Look, see how that, those um, cinnamon cider and early espresso, they go together very well. So that's what this paper is. If you haven't, if you think, you know, in the catalog, I feel like the paper looks really busy and it is busy on some sides, but the other sides aren't busy. They're monochromatic and they're beautiful. I will use the busy sides too at some point but I love this paper. It's specialty paper because it has gold in it. Now the measurements for these, oh, did I put the measurements on the PDF? I think I did. So they should be on the PDF. We're gonna use our early, whoa, our early espresso faux suede. All right, my little floor fan is not helping. Maybe I need to point it more this direction. I got one of these fans, I can't remember what they're called. People were recommending them for the dorms, so I ordered myself one <laughs> instead of my daughter. It was like a $70 fan, but it, it rotates. It goes all different directions, um, and it works pretty good. She doesn't need a fan. Her room is fine. It's nice and cold. All right, there we go. Now, let's see. I'm going to get my little pig and... Put him on flat there. And then dimensionals. That paper is gorgeous, I agree. Clever cats, yes. Christine, I will definitely be doing clever cat. Cle Ooh, that's hard to say. Clever cats. I wanted to save Halloween for September. Because you know, if I do all the fun stuff early, then what will we do? I've gotta save some things. So we get closer to where I can find Halloween treats in the store, you know. All right, so dimensionals, I sandwiched the ribbon. And last but not least, we're gonna add a few of these brushed metallic adhesive dots. They're really cool. We've got, tell me the colors, gold and what would you, is that bronze? And then what is that? That's like a gold also. I don't know what to call them gold bronze or copper I don't know anyways I'm using that one that middle color all right we're just gonna add a few and there we go how cute how cute how cute I love it a little something for a great person that card could be used for a multitude of reasons right so stinking cute and you know feel free to change the colors if you're not a fan of the colors, change it up. Use whatever colors and whatever paper you have on hand. All right, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I love this card. This may be my favorite of the three today. All right, let me clean up and we will get on to our next project. Next, Little Debbie makes a return. We haven't seen Little Debbie in a while but she makes return. All right, let me move that out of the way. Bronze, antique, antique bronze on the right, 
Brass, Barbara, brass. Yeah, brass. Where did I, let me put that back, let me get it. Brass. So do you think this is brass right here? And this is antique, would you say antique bronze? Or antique gold? Nickel, oh, there's too many choices. How about we just say left, right, and center? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. Okay, next up. This was kind of a last minute project. Um, I was at Target yesterday and I saw these. Lil Debbie mini apple fruit pies. And I like the size of them. They're really like a good size. They're not huge and they make a nice little box the size. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Lil Debbie, <laughs> You can go to Little Debbie. She has a snack finder and you can type in your zip code and she'll tell you what stores in your area have these. So these are from Target, which our Target has changed and it's not a good Target anymore, um, but they actually had these. They, I don't know, they don't, they have a lot of basic stuff now. They don't have a lot of the fun stuff that they used to have. Um, but anyway, that's where those are. I linked the Little Debbie snack finder under this um, project today on my blog if you want to just go directly there. I like to use little Debbie snacks. Okay, now, you know what? And I'm usually not very tempted to eat little Debbie snacks, but this one is tempting me. Probably because I started my diet yesterday. The summer of eating nonstop has stopped starting yesterday. <laughs> it was a crazy summer. Lots of trips. So now it's time to, you know, pay the piper. Got to get got to get back into my clothes so that they fit. But we had fun getting there. <laughs> okay, old olive. That's what this color is. And right here are the measurements. Seven by nine and a half. We're going to score the long side at, let me look at my notes. This feels like it's not straight. Half an inch. Four. Five. And eight and a half. And I'm gonna turn it and score it at, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. One and six. All right. All righty. Now let's get that bone folder. So while I'm doing this, I will tell you guys about taking my daughter to college. My oldest went to, we took her to her first freshman year of college this, this week. She's going to my alma mater in Waco. It's three hours, it's a three hour drive from here. And, it, you know, I knew it was gonna be hard. Lots of you had sent me sweet messages, warning me, I know, I know, I know. And you know, it's funny is I remember when my mom left me, my mom and dad left me at college and it was hard. Um, so I was prepared for that. Um, but I will tell you that I had, I think I had gotten it all out of my system before we went. So when we left her, it wasn't terrible. You know, I had done all the crying <laughs> the week leading up. And now I'm so busy that, you know, and we've FaceTimed several times already. So, and she's happy and living her best life. So, you know, we survived. Okay, back to the project. Here's our half inch um, tab on this side. The first thing we're going to do is cut these little rectangles out. And notice I'm cutting at an angle so that this tab won't have any corners. Okay. And then we're gonna cut all the horizontal, well, I guess these are vertical, all the vertical score lines up to the horizontal score line, depending on how you're holding your paper. All right, and then cut these square tabs, cut the corners off, come back over here, let's do this one. Oh, don't even, Patricia, you're, you're sabotaging my diet already. And it hasn't even been 48 hours. She says, heat it up, warm up the ice cream on top, and don't, and add ice, okay, can I speak? Warm it up, add ice cream, and caramel topping. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Yum, I like apple pie a lot. That's one of my favorites. Yum, yum. I don't know if those are new or if I just have never noticed them. They're cute, though. I like the little size. You know, if you buy those little fried pies, they're usually much bigger than that. That would be nice with, like, a those of you that drink coffee. I know my mom always likes to have a little something with her coffee in the afternoon. That would be a nice little treat. Mom, if you're watching, I'll bring them over. 
she started her diet with me. We're doing it together. So we'll give it to we'll give it to my dad because my husband's trying to lose weight too. Man, we had too much fun this summer during quarantine. Oh, uh, I'm talking. Okay, ignore. Boop. Rewind. Pretend like I didn't do that yet. It's okay. The only thing I meant to say is that down here, these two tabs right here, we want to make them pretty much the same as this. Okay, so just cut it in half and then snip off those corners. These are the tabs that go on the inside of our box so that there's no gap there. Um, so it's, you know, it's not, you're not gonna see it. It's not gonna be, it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, there, now, back to where we were. Little glue. <laughs> I'm using Tombow. I find Tombow down here in South Texas where it's hot and muggy. Tombow seems to hold my boxes together the best. So we're gonna fold in these little tabs behind the sides, use these little mini clothespins that are either Dollar Tree or Walmart. I thought I got them at Dollar Tree, but the last time I was at Dollar Tree, which was last week, they didn't have these. So then I was like, maybe they're from Walmart. I don't know, either way. You could use regular clothespins, use whatever you have, because you're just gonna clip them. Oops, that one doesn't look like it's straight. Clip them and it's just gonna hold that glue in place until it's dry. Okay, okay, so there's that. Now, for our bear, I was thinking of all of my fussy, fussy cutters and decided we're gonna do a bear that you don't have to cut out. Now, Monday's card, if you wanna do it the way I did it, you're gonna to have to cut it out. But on this card, we're just gonna stamp it on the circle and we get what we get inside the circle. He's not gonna fit completely but that's okay, you're still gonna get the gist of what's happening <laughs> in the picture. You don't need to see all the wheels and everything to know that he's riding a bike. All right, so we're gonna put him, we do want his head, his whole head, so I'm gonna put him like that. Okay, so see, it cut off part of it, but that's okay. It's a large stamp. Sometimes I have trouble with a large stamp knowing exactly what to do with it, other than fussy cut it. But like this, you know, we don't need the, you know, we don't need a circle that big. We still get what's going on, even though we cut off some of the tires. This is um, from the layer, layering circle dies, and it is the two and, well, you know, they're not exact sizes, these circles. Two, between two and five eighths. It's about two and five eighths, maybe two and three fourths. What's the measurement between two and five eighths and two and three fourths? I don't ever go down that small. I know. Some of you are like, duh, how do you not know that? All right, this time I'm gonna color this little bear sweater real red because we've got apples on the inside. Now, the box has green, so I guess maybe they use green apples in their apple pie, but whatever, we're going with red because the box is green. When I taught kindergarten, we always had a unit on apples at the beginning of the year. It was one of my favorites. And we would taste test all the different apples, red and green and Kids would learn their name and they would measure them and sort them and count them. It was so fun. I liked teaching kindergarten. Now it's probably, oh, we can't do fun things like that anymore. Got to, you know, do math and reading and blah. Lost all the fun. Okay, now I'm going in with my dark, adding some shadow where behind his arm, underneath his arm, and down here towards the bottom. And then I'm gonna just take my light and kind of blend it. I feel like the light would be shining on his back. You know, the light's coming from his back. So that's where it's gonna be the lightest and his arm. Now I've got to do the trim. Gosh, that is the name. On my clean recording, guys, by the way, I have a clean recording of all of these over on YouTube. If you wanna come back and watch them and don't wanna hear all my chit chat. Um, they're linked under each photo today on my blog. But on my clean recording, I could not, <laughs> think of the word for the bottom of his sweater. The word I was looking for is trim. You know, when you're on video, sometimes it's like, oh, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Now, cinnamon cider, we're gonna do a cinnamon cider bear. I love cinnamon cider. And we're gonna color him all with a light. And again, I'm just gonna go real light towards his rear. We're going to leave that light because that's going to be the part where the sun is shining down that direction. So we'll leave that and then we'll come back 
add a shadow underneath the trim of his sweater and down a little bit and underneath the when the artist puts little hair you know, like you know little you know little tufts you know that that's you want to add some shadowing there okay and then I'm gonna go back with my light blend all that together just barely kind of just brushing that back side <laughs> I can make a lot of jokes right there but I'm not going to not going to do it. I know you guys are probably saying it, but I'm not going to say it. Okay. Now let's do his head again with the light and I'm going to leave his nose white because I want his nose to look like it's in the sun, in the sunshine. Okay. See like that right there. Actually, this one is better. See right there. So I'm going to leave it white and then I'm going to go back with my dark. Add the, the shadowing would be on the front side, the back of that ear. Drag that color up. Go a little bit further up. And then get your color lifter and just kind of watch that color lifter over that part. And it's going to lighten it up and bleed a little bit into that white spot. See right there? Okay, now for the bunny, let's do crumb cake bunny. Thanks for the shares, guys. I appreciate it. Little crumb cake bunny. I'm going to do the same thing with her nose. Oh, I forgot his paw. You know, I've colored this bear about eight times now, and every single time I forget to color the paw. Every time little dark crumb cake in the back of the rabbit take the color all the way up leaving a white nose and now let's go back with the cinnamon cider what color which one is this one dark and light oh and i didn't do the trim either on his sweater oh my gosh oh my goodness Let's try that again. There we go. Now, for the basket, let's do a little bit of orange. Let's do pale papaya dark. We're going to stick with those fall colors. Pale papaya, not peekaboo peach. All right, last but not least, I'm just going to take my smoky slate dark and just go the, the little parts of his bike. They're very, very skinny lines. So I'm just gonna kind of tap, tap, tap that color in there. Kind of flick it in like that. And there you have it. So, so there, I didn't fussy cut. You know, stamping that sweater on a, a printed paper, designer series paper, then cutting the sweater out and putting that on him, that would be really cute. I wish I had thought of that. But I didn't. All right, let's layer it all up. We've got a cinnamon cider scalloped, things are clinging, cinnamon cider scalloped circle. And we've got a crumb cake strip. And we're gonna stamp friends like you make life a joy. Right here, do you think I can get it straight? Let's see. I cut an extra one just to, no I don't like it I cut an extra one I've got four chances let's see it needs to just come down a little bit there we go I didn't need oh I was supposed to do it in the middle but you know what this is what we'll do hold on let's see we're gonna use this I was thinking that the other project where we needed to stamp over on the the right side is that two? Yeah, okay. No, I spoke too soon. Let's try one more time. This time in the middle. This is um, a strip that is, I don't think it's three-fourths. I think it's five-eighths by three. And now I'm going to use the banner pick-a-punch. Is that what it's called? It's got a weird name. Banner pick a punch. Do both ends. Uh, now, this paper, you guys might recognize this paper. This is the Heartwarming Hugs paper from last year, the Christmas paper. But it works perfectly here. 
not a Christmas project, but it works. And of course, we're gonna use that gingham. I'm gonna use it every chance I can. This is a pear pizzazz piece of cardstock. I'm gonna put the designer series paper there and we will put the red banner right there. Okay. And then we will get the, the dimensionals, put these on and put that right in the middle. Now this guy, we are gonna put it over towards the right. So we're not completely covering up his bike. So just like that. Mm, like that. Mm, like that. I think it's too long. I need to punch it again. Let's punch it again. Uh-oh. Can I punch it? Will it go all the way? No problem. No problem. There. No, let's do it one more time. <laughs> I'm going to do it over and over and over again until it's too short. All right. couple dimensionals. Let's try this again. There. I like that better. Okay. All right. Let's go back to our fruit pie box. And let's put that little pie right in there. My mail lady is going to be coming tomorrow, so maybe I'll leave this out for her so that I won't eat it. And give the other two to my parents because I really want to eat them. All right, so close your box. Get your, oh, come on. Get your ribbon. Stay closed, boxed. Okay, try it again. Why? Why are you doing this to me today? Well, whatever. I don't know why it won't stay closed, but we're moving on. It fits. It just keeps popping up. I probably need to shorten those tabs a bit. And then that side keeps going down. Oh, come on. All right, little clamshell box. You just do what I tell you to do. This is the Perfect Pets ribbon from the annual catalog. Perfect Pets. Playful Pets. It comes in a pack of this real red striped ribbon and then the gorgeous black and white striped twine, both of which I use a ton of. And I'm gonna tie that there and then we'll snip off the ends. Why does it not wanna stay up right there? Maybe I need to put two apple pies in there. It needs more, more pie. More pie is always the answer, isn't it? All right, last but not least, we're gonna sandwich that ribbon with our cute little bear. And there you have it. So, do I get the thumbs up from all you fussy, fussy cutters that I didn't make you fussy cut on every project today? Yeah, I was thinking of you all today. Isn't it so cute? Those would make great back to school treats for all your friends, your kids' friends. All right, good, I'm glad you like it. We're down to one more and it's three o'clock. Let's see, this next one is, do I need anything on here? Yes, this next one is a hand sanitizer holder. I haven't done a hand sanitizer holder in a while and I challenged myself to come up with a different design, which I did. Let me turn over this page. You will recognize, well, maybe, here it is, the little apples. You know what's funny is I bought the apple pies thinking of this guy with the apples, but then I ended up using the bear. This is probably my least favorite of the three. I don't know why, but I wanted to use the bear. Anyway, you just, you just got a glimpse into my mind. I don't know why these things happen the way they do. But anyway, these are little hand sanitizer holders. You see how that looks? I'm gonna show you what we use to make it. Um, there is a set of dies. Oh, I didn't show you the hand sanitizer. Look how cute. It's a pumpkin and an apple, and it says, I pick you, pumpkin apple. So cute, from Bath and Body Works. All right, this piece, it was cut with the ornate layers dies. Do you guys recognize that? These came out a few years ago. They're in the annual catalog. It's the big scalloped rectangle 
And then you need another piece, um, both cinnamon cider again, another piece that is one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Now I will tell you, you guys, I changed the measurements on this several times. So let's, let's cross our fingers that I got it right. <laughs> um, on this little scallop piece, we're gonna score it at two and a fourth and then turn it around and score it again at two and a fourth. Okay, now this skinny piece on the skinny side, you're gonna score it at half an inch and then turn it around, score it at half an inch. Then on the long side, let me look at my notes, two inches from both ends, so two inches. And it's five and seven eighths, so that would be three and seven eighths, okay? All right, now bone folder. Let's get these lines nice and crisp. So where you are, guys, have your kids gone back to school? Or are you at after Labor Day start? Seems like schools up north start after Labor Day. I remember when I was very young, we started after Labor Day. And then we started starting like early August. The earlier you start, it seems like the more holidays you get and the earlier you get out. So there are positives to both. All right, so I put my tear and tape on here before I cut those lines because that way I don't have to peel off six pieces of my tear and tape backing. I can just do these two. Although I did, I went a little short here, so I've got a little short piece I'm gonna add right there. Okay. Next week in North Carolina, Cindy, almost everybody has gone back. Gosh, why are we like the last ones? It used to be, maybe my Texas friends know, the law was, well, here in San Antonio, they, they made a, some kind of weird rule that you couldn't start school before the third Monday of the month because we were starting like the first week of August and it was hurting the tourism industry. We have a big tourism industry in San Antonio. But, so our school district, Northside, it always sticks with that rule, but all the other schools have already started. So I don't, I don't know, maybe it's not a rule anymore. I would, I would like for my kids to go back a little early. <laughs> They would too, they're ready. For about two weeks now, they've been so bored. All right, I'm gonna snip those score lines there in the middle, and we're just gonna fold this up into a uh, U shape, okay? And this is all gonna be hidden um, in our little scalp rectangle. Um, same in the Midwest, huh? Always the third week of August to accommodate for snow days and early summer farm work. Interesting. Hmm. All right, now we've got these two score lines here. We're going to, let's just put a little bit of adhesive here, which I think you probably don't need because you've got so much on the sides. Um, let's make this straight. Now you wanna sit this down. I mean, I've gotta look at it so I can get it right in the middle. You wanna sit this down right in the middle between the scallops. This is crooked on this side, but whatever. Uh, whatever, you're not gonna see it. Um, and then press it into the sides of the scalloped rectangle. You see how I craft? Whatever. Just get it done. All right, and there's your box. See that? There is your box. And our little hand sanitizer fits perfectly right in there. Just a fun, cute way to dress up your hand sanitizer. Oh, I meant to, I meant to do our little hedgehog first because it needed to dry. All right, well, whatever. This time we're going, we're going to um, watercolor this little guy. And um, I'm stamping it in stays on on watercolor paper. Uh, if you use Memento Black and you watercolor, everything's gonna run. So this one will not run. It's like a waterproof ink. And I've got my water painter and we're gonna use, again, can you guess, cinnamon cider. And I've squeezed my ink pad and gotten that ink right on the inside. My um, water painter is nice and wet, and I'm just gonna paint him um, his little quills. Now, I will have a story for you. We, when I was teaching, we had a hedgehog. His name was Hedgie, I know, very unique. 
And uh, I had him for several years. The kids loved him, and I loved him too. He was really sweet. Easy, easy pet. Fun, you know, different. The kids loved him. Um, one, one of the kids took him home for Christmas, and he died. They, the cleaning lady had cleaned the table he was on, and they're very sensitive to chemicals, and he died. And so then we got another one, and that one didn't last very long at all. That one died shortly. I think it was again at somebody's house. So, so that was the end of that. But the hedgehogs are fun. If you ever have a, a child who wants to have a hedgehog as a pet, I highly recommend. They're not real, real messy. Um, and they're funny. They're cute. They like huff and puff. They're, they're cute. They're fun. And when my husband served in Iraq, um, he would send me pictures. They have wild um, hedgehogs in... Uh, Iraq, I'm sure in other places too, but um, he would send me pictures. They would just be all over the place. Now, this is Petal Pink. He's really kind of creamy underneath. They're really not pink, but this was kind of the closest I could get to the color that I was going for. So, Petal Pink for his feet. It's a her. I keep calling it a him, but it's a her. His feet. Her feet. <laughs> I think it's, well, you know, that's pretty sexist of me. I just assumed it was a her because she's wearing an apron. But how dare I? Right? I mean, really, how dare I? It could be a, it could be a male hedgehog with an apron. I just think she's female. Now, here's something really weird, okay, on this image. Let me show you. So she's carrying a bowl of what I think are apples. Do you guys think those are apples? Are they not apples? Or are they like plums? I don't know. Because there's a holly leaf right there. What looks like a holly leaf to me. And if you had a bowl of apples, you wouldn't have a holly leaf there, would you? So I'm not real sure what's happening with that. And I'm just going to cut it off because I need those to be apples. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I start on an on a image and I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute. What is this that I'm coloring is not what I thought it was. I'm not sure. It could be Christmas plums. It, there's no stems, so maybe they aren't apples. Maybe they're not. You guys, what do you think? I'm, I'm going to make them apples. They're apples. All right, so there we go. And last but not least, whoa, we're going to do soft suede for the bowl. Just a little soft suede here. Um, another thing that you could do with these images is use the watercolor pencils. Um, those are fun and that's kind of a, if you don't feel comfortable yet um, watercoloring, that's a great place to start because um, you have a lot of control. You actually color it with a watercolor pencil and then take um, one of our blender pens or even um, a water painter and uh, you, um, you know, water the, water the, color that you put on there and it just kind of you know blends and looks like watercolor all right so there's that I'm gonna let her dry for just a second and then we're going to stamp the for you look at this little label how cute is it it is from the new Halloween dies these right here what are they called? I don't, I can't remember. Frightful Tags dies. Oh my gosh. Better believe I'm be using these a lot once we get into Halloween. These are so good. Love the spider web. Um, and then I've also cut this from this. <laughs> this from this. This pumpkin from Cajun Craze. Cajun? Cajun Craze? Suddenly that sounded wrong. Cajun Craze cardstock. Um, these are called Detailed Pumpkin Dies. Both of these are in the new holiday catalog and I love them. All right, so now, where are my fussy cutter haters? If you don't want to fussy cut our little hedgehog, then punch her out, him, her out with a circle. Okay? Don't, you don't, don't have to, don't have to not want to do the project because I am fussy cutting. You can always punch them out with a circle or even a little square punch. Do you guys remember when we had square punches? I like square punches. Or cut it into a square. 
It doesn't have to be how I'm doing it. So I just cut off the weird holly leaf. I'm not reading. Did you guys? Holly berries? Right, Dot. They're not, they can't be holly berries. They're, oh, but the hedgehog is small. So maybe they are holly berries. <gasps> because she's tiny. Hmm. Look at that. You guys are smart. Holly leaf. I never even thought about holly berries. That is probably what it is. You know, sometimes the most obvious answer is the last one I see. I don't know why that is. I, I do things the hard way sometimes. But whatever, they're apples. Today, they're apples. All right, let me cut this out. There we go. And there she is. I'm saying it's a she. She. It's a her. Now, I'm going to take her and stick her to that little pumpkin like that. And then we will take another dimensional and stick it to our tag. Mm, that doesn't feel right. Hold on. I don't think I went far enough in. Let's go. I think I put my 4U a little bit too high. I think that's the problem. We're going to make it work. There we go. All right, now again, we've got some of that beautiful Blackberry Beauty designer series paper. This is just a two by two square. Goes right there in the middle. And oh wait, the cork. Have you guys ordered the cork? This is why Ashley sent me that cute cork wallet because she knows I like this cork paper. It literally is thin like paper and it is, but it feels like cork on the top. I love it. Love, love, love it. All right, so I just cut those at an angle and then we will put our little cluster of cuteness right there. <laughs> cluster of cuteness. I just coined that term right now. I think I'm gonna have to use that a lot. Now I wanted to add a bow because you know, everything really does need a bow. This is our bumblebee gingham ribbon, but I found that it was a little bit too big. I wanted to put it right there on that pumpkin. It was a little bit too big for the pumpkin, so I thought, why don't we just stick it to the hand sanitizer? It's so cute on the hand sanitizer. Okay, so we'll just put it right there. And there you have it. Cute, right? Teachers love hand sanitizer, you guys. Send them to the teachers. The hand sanitizers, by the way, used to be five for, what was it? They were like a dollar each. If you bought five for five dollars, but then they were a dollar like 25 if you bought them by themselves. Last week when I went in, they were five for eight dollars. I was like, what is happening? I guess because of the pandemic, they are on high demand, just like everything else, inflation. Not so cheap anymore, but still cute. The best hand sanitizer out there, in my opinion. Doesn't smell weird. <laughs> All right, there we go. Three Joyful Life projects getting us in the mood for fall. Yay, can't wait. Um, now, remember, Monday, let me show you what I've got for you Monday. I have a slider card where your bear slides around. Come on, bear. I don't know why he's getting stuck down there. Isn't that cute? I'm going to show you how I did the background, how I did the hill. It's actually a pretty long video. It's 20 minutes, so it will be up on Monday. Um, and notice how I colored the bike. I wasn't totally sure about that. After I cut the bike out, it was white. The background was white, which looked weird against the green background. So I colored it with old olive to try to blend in like the grass. I don't know if I like it, but I didn't like the white either. So anyway, just a side note, that project will be out on Monday. All the details will be on my blog. All right, before I let you go, remember, if you want me to send you three projects to make with your Joyful Life stamp set, uh, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight. Here's the host code, it starts with a six. The, to get the free make and takes, it has to be $35. But if you bump your order to 50, you'll get a free celebration item and the free PDF, um, the all-star tutorial PDF. 
Okay? Uh, Monday, strict cutoff Monday because Tuesday starts the BOGO sale. So I'll be live Monday afternoon, let's say around um, 3 or 4 o'clock. And um, if you don't catch me live, that's all right. I'm not going to be live for that long. I'm just going to kind of go over the BOGO sale, show you a few sneak peeks. And then BOGO sale starts Tuesday morning around 9 or 10 a.m. Okay? You guys have a wonderful weekend. Good luck to all the kiddos who haven't started yet. Good luck to all the mamas. Enjoy that send-off on Monday. Um, and you guys have a great week. I will be back on Monday afternoon. Bye, everybody. Thanks.